working on two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. This is our first day or first afternoon of the voyage to Suriname or passage to Suriname. And just look at Pietro. She's, she's having a, a, a cooking stand here. Yeah. But this is, this is calm seas because in rough seas I would be standing like this and cooking that away to eat myself. But this time I can actually do it this way because we are nice and calm. And this is actually perfect sailing conditions to cook in. Are we and sailing upwind? Yes. So we, we surf it. <laughs> no, got not surfing. <laughs> and just look how Pietro is stowing away stuff on a catamaran. And here stuff stowed away here. So it's not really stowed away. It's mainly just wedged. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. Still have things here on the table and then Peter put also some of the lambs down there they normally hanging up here we actually bouncing up and down every now and then not yeah you see like that so we're bouncing okay and then ladies when you cook on a on a catamaran on passage you don't have a gimbal stove <laughs> you become Luckily. the gimbal. Yeah, so <laughs> you become the gimbal. So you are permanently. But that works out your core, so it's a good workout as well. So, yes, no gimbal stove, but you are the gimbal. First sunset on this passage. And it is looking good. Searching for steady ground. It's our first night and it's about to get morning. I can see the light is coming. I can see daylight is coming. And it was actually... The night was not a bad passage. Although we didn't make much ground, see? We didn't move in a southerly direction where we want to go. We just doing this up and down, up and down, try to get past this one island. The wind is not as predicted again. It would be a surprise if it was as predicted. Um, the wind speed is, is what is predicted, but the wind direction is not what was predicted. So over here you see wind direction is most of the time 124, 28, sometimes 30 and it was supposed to be 100 degrees so we just don't make this direction that we want to go it's now night mode so everything is a little bit stupid um, if we put it in day mode so we started off there and you can see we came down from Antigua and this Guadeloupe is in the way so we had to go that direction um, and we need to get past here but if we don't if we if we miss that one and this is our dead zone we cannot sail in that this red and green lines we cannot sail here this direction so if we don't make it we need to tack again so this is the leeward islands of the caribbean and 
there is Cuba, there is Florida, yes, Central America, and here is America, South America. So, this is where we are currently, and we need to get to Suriname, which is over there. So, it's already our second morning on, on our way to Suriname, and, and I just seems I cannot get Sisu to just sail properly. It just stays at five days and six days. It doesn't want to go down. It's going to be a long sail. And I've trimmed. I've trimmed the Genoa. I've trimmed the main. I even used the topping lift to get the twist right. But either the sea state is not good or we just it doesn't seem like Sisu can find her rhythm through these waves. Every time when she picks up speed, she will get slammed by a... And I come from the side and I just take the whole bow and we point the wrong direction and then do, 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 slowly coming back again. I'm not happy the way we are performing at this moment. And, and we had to tell those guys when we arrive. It's like, they want an exact date. It's like, um, yes, we need to know when we need to start your visa. It's like, okay, make it then the 18th. It's like, it's like 18th. This is what predict winds say we're going to do, and it's definitely not. We don't get the speeds, even what predict wind claimed we should get. So I'm a little bit worried what the customs is going to do on that side. So the black line is our reading. The yellow, yellow is the wind that's blowing this direction. And the blue line is the actual line where we're going to. The, 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 our course over the water or over ground. So this is where we're going and we're heading that way and the wind is pushing this way but we, we're sailing basically more into the wind than we're heading. So it must be the current. You see over there, one knot current. Will we get there? <laughs> How do you explain this to customs um, or immigration? Yes sir, I know we said the 18th but at this moment it is five days later. It's going to be it's going to be fun. We are running into issues. We are over there and we need to go all the way to Suriname. We are now bouncing a little bit. Whoa! Whoa! Up and down, up and down. But the thing is, Barbados is here and as you can see now, we manage, we will manage to pass to the east of Barbados, over there, but even now the wind is turning, turning us so that we cannot get past Barbados and we will need to tack somewhere there. You see, we are swinging every now and then look like now we to the west of Barbados and that is a problem if we check the weather here see so we're going to get a strong current this current here is turning like this and that's going to be already tough for us it would be easier to come here but look at this current here and then here so if we get too close here this one is going to kill us so we need to angle so that we can get this current just before this one going into the river and all that Pietro is doing on this boat is cooking for us <laughs> <laughs> that feels that way anyway and make, and make videos and wash the and dishes and the wash the clothes <laughs> and make the bed and make love to me. 
lots and, of stuff. And sometimes I sail the boat as well. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, it's sometimes I do sailor stuff. You do sailor stuff. Yeah. Like at night is hot dog day. Check this out. Time to eat. Time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> No big ways, but every now and then you get one like this one. It is a bumpy ride, and we can change the course. And I've changed it already five degrees that way, and five degrees that way, ten degrees that way, ten degrees that way, and we always find this somewhere. Look, there's a wave coming this way, and most of the waves is going that direction. So. It's as if we just cannot find the sweet spot now. So I've now moved five degrees that way. I can see we catch these big ones a little bit more like a cross axle. And we're going a little bit smoother. But you will see every now and then we still hit that very ugly one right from the front. So the big ones we now cross axling. You can see the sea is pretty dear macar. Okay, we now 10 degrees from our original from two vid videos before, two clips before um, we just increased our speed quite a lot we're now doing around six to seven knots and that's just, if we do it the wave now it's just much more louder, much more but you can see it's, it's looking better we are having a bit of adventure here It is not a good night. Autopilot just went a little bit crazy and just keep steering. Sees you all the way, always left, always the port side. Get through. <laughs> it was happening on the ship again. And now, and now we are having these decisions to make. We need to miss Barbados. We need to miss Barbados over there. And. If if I turn see a little bit more like this, then we are too close. We are too close to the wind, and because of there, uh, you can see here, uh, it's a pretty big current going on, and it's like 1.2, 1.4 knots of current, and it's going in that direction. So. It's pushing us towards Barbados. If I keep us on on 45 um, wind vane, then we just keep on slamming into waves that's coming from the front. If I try to get away from this, then our speed is going so high, it's just uncomfortable. We are between the rock and the deep blue sea. I know people want to go faster, but man, going into the wind, beating into the waves, it's just not nice. I don't know why people want to go faster, it's just not nice. Like now, I can feel it, like, there are serious G-forces working on, on you, and then, what's happening to the rigging, what's happening to the boat, what's happening to the hull, what's happening to the sails? It is not good. I don't know why people want to go past. Look at this confused sea state. It is just all over. Last night we broke our Genoa starboard sheet line and we had to rip a new line which was our old Halyard. 
and Pietro is busy. Look at that! To make scrambled eggs in a moving boat. Look at that! Scrambled eggs in a moving boat. <laughs> Watch it, it doesn't slip over the side of the pan. Imagine that. And look at the sea state. It's not as if we are steady. <laughs> Bit of a challenge. Uh, Pedro can accept the challenge anytime, any sea state. <laughs> Cross the river. 